Welcome back to our beginner PPC masterclass series. Now that your listing is finally tuned, we are going to cover video three, PPC launch. If you are new to this series or my channel, I'm Andy Craig, the owner of an Amazon advertising agency called Ad Habit. Now I'm going to show you exactly how we launch all the campaigns for all of our clients when they're launching new products or when they're just launching campaigns throughout the process of running Amazon PPC. Now it's time to launch your PPC campaigns and start driving targeted traffic to your products. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of launching campaigns directly through Seller Central or through bulk files or some of our favorite software tools that make it very easy to launch PPC campaigns. Plus, we'll discuss the best match types and bidding strategies to kickstart your PPC journey. So let's dive right in. So the first thing I wanna go over is how to launch PPC campaigns directly in your Seller Central. Now, if you're just getting into this and you haven't done your keyword research, watch some of our other videos where we have on, on keyword research and how to get that keyword list for your initial PPC launch. Now, what I suggest to do when you're first launching PPC campaigns, start with those most relevant keywords that you're really gonna start to drive traffic to, you're most likely to convert the best for, and start to launch those first. So in your Seller Central, you're going to go to your menu, Advertising Campaign Manager, you're gonna open that up, and you're gonna see this screen here. So you're gonna choose your campaign type, and usually you want, you want to first start with sponsored products. Now it is good to start with sponsored brands and sponsored display, but you know keep limited budget on those, don't drive a ton. Now if you are brand registered, you launch with sponsored brands, sponsored brand video can do very well if you do have a video. So I do suggest to start testing that video, see how it converts. I've worked with a ton of clients where their video just has a great conversion and it helps to drive tons of sales and profitability while you're using sponsored products to help a lot with ranking. So we're gonna click continue here and get into the campaign manager and launch these campaigns. So the first thing I wanna do is set your ad group name and I'm gonna equal this the same way I would do it with my, uh, my campaign name. So usually what we like to do is start with some sort of product identifier. So we'll say PI product identifier, space dash space, or use any delimiter. You could use the bar like that. Uh, I'll just use a dash for this example. And then we're going to put ad type sponsored products. We're going to put the match type. So let's say this is exact match. And then we're going to put uh, the purpose of the campaign is what we like to do. So it could be for ranking, it could be branded, performance, defensive, anything like that. You know, whatever that purpose is, whatever you'd like to establish, there's plenty of different ways, whatever makes it easier for you. This one will say it's just based on performance, maybe just a certain target A cost I wanna go after, or you could do ranking. So we'll go ranking, boom, I'll go ranking. And then I'm going to put, if it's a single keyword campaign, I'll put, you know, SKC. And then what I like to do is actually put the keyword, what the keyword is, if it's a single keyword campaign. Now, if it's a multi keyword campaign, you could just put, you know, ranking, you could put the date, and then maybe a one to identify like this is the first campaign of many campaigns that I'm creating. Now that's a good way to do it. There's tons of other examples. You can get even more in depth, put your placement modifiers, put what the bid is, but then you have to you know, change your campaign over time. So go ahead and copy what that campaign name is. And then you'll see a list of all your ASINs, simply add them into there. And as you scroll down to this targeting section, if you're launching auto campaigns, we'll walk through that process pretty quickly. What I like to do is set bids by targeting group. And what we actually do in ad habit is we launch campaigns separately for each one of these automatic targeting groups. So we'll launch four auto campaigns. The first one will launch with close match. The next one will launch with loose match and then, you know, substitutes, compliments, so forth, so on and so forth. Now, if this is an auto campaign, I'm going to put auto and then I'm going to put whatever match type auto, um, it's going to be close match, loose match, compliments or substitutes right in that campaign name. All right. So as we scroll down, I will set that and simply just go through. I usually like to do dynamic bids down only, especially for auto campaigns. For some of the other campaign types, we can use some of these other strategies, which I'll go over here in a minute. And then you could automatically adjust your bids by placement. If you want to really get more aggressive and push top of search, that is an option. Okay. And then go ahead and take the ad group name. You paste it over here just so they match. You set your daily budget. Now, some people say put a hundred dollar daily budget, put 200, put 10, put 50. This is really based on what your actual real life budget is. Um, so if you are very limited on your budget, start small, work your way up. You could always increase your budgets or lower them over time. So put a budget in place, maybe start with a $20 budget and then see how it works. If it's performing well, increase it. If it's performing poorly, you know, possibly decrease it, get the bids right and then increase it over time. Okay. Now I don't launch in other countries right away, especially, you know, I don't want to test that right out the gate. I want to get this brand established in the marketplace that I'm working it with before I test any other, other countries like that. Okay. So simply launch the campaign. 
Now we'll simply go in and switch it to manual targeting now. Now what we suggest to do is only to do one match type per campaign. So we're gonna launch one campaign with phrase, one campaign with broad, and one campaign with exact. So you could either go through, you're gonna see some suggested bits here, but you should already have your PPC list prepared. So then you can start launching these. Now what we like to do is only about five keywords per campaign. And on our best highest search volume keywords, we'll even do single keyword campaigns, which I spoke about a minute ago. So go ahead and put the keyword in there. You can just put keyword, you hit add keywords, and it's gonna put it over here. All right, you could put the bid or Amazon will give you a suggested bid range if that is an option in here. Uh, usually for launch, I, I do like to go at the top end to gather as much data as we can get, but that's going to depend on your budget and your conversion rate and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so put the keywords in there, make sure they're all the same match type, go ahead and launch this, then create your next campaign. Now, a lot of this can take a ton of time uh, as you're doing this. Let me hit on one more other point. So switch, stick with dynamic bids down only or fixed bids in the beginning. Uh, dynamic bids up and down can work well, but tends to spend a lot of money. And I do suggest just test that a little bit more when your product's a little bit more established than when you're just launching. Now, this can work very well. I've seen it work well in many accounts, but test it. Make sure you test it. Don't just let it spend out of control. Okay. Now, if you want to push top of search, that can be the best converting placement on Amazon. So maybe test it out. Start with a 50% top of search. See how it performs. If it performs well, increase it. If it performs poorly, decrease it. Now we're going to get into some of those PPC optimization techniques in some of the further videos in this series. So for now, we're just going to cover campaign launches. Okay. Set the budget, launch the campaign. Now, this can take a ton of time, like I was saying a minute ago, you know, clicking here, clicking there, launching a campaign. It takes a lot of clicks. Now, what we like to do at Ad Habit is we launch these in bulk campaigns, which allows us to save a ton and ton of time. OK, so I'm going to walk you through a couple of different tools that I use to launch these. Now, the first thing I'm just going to cover a PPC bulk file. Now, in the description of this video or in the comment below, uh, I forget which one we always put it in. You're going to see access to this spreadsheet here to where you can, you know, take this, replace the campaign names, replace the ad group names. You could replace the ad group campaign names, like I said, change the date and then change the, the SKU, right? You're going to want to put your SKU. Now, if you have multiple SKUs you want to launch into the same campaign, you will need to duplicate this product ad row right here. You can copy it. So you're going to want to insert a row below and then paste that in there. So make sure you do that process, right? So you can add the, those multi SKU campaigns that you're going to want to do it for each campaign where you have those multi SKUs, right? So each campaign under product ad, you're going to want to add that second row and add the, that additional SKU. Okay. So, you know, take this file, change the keywords, change the bids, change the budgets, whatever you want, change the bidding strategy. You have fixed bids, dynamic bids down only. You have, um, there should be up and down in here as well. Maybe I don't have up and down, but you can just change this to dynamic bids up and down. And that's one way to do it. Okay. Now, if you are wondering like how to actually do this in bulk files, if you go into your campaign manager, come over here, there are some learnings directly from Amazon. So if you come in here and you look at this bulk sheets portal, Amazon will show you exactly how to segment these. But I gave you this simple spreadsheet to where you can do it yourself. If you want to add you know certain placement modifiers this is the row to do it you'll see that's under the bidding adjustment row all the way to the left all right so you'll see that is under bidding adjustment right there that's a completely separate row you'll need to add to each campaign if you want to add some sort of placement modifier as well okay so just an easy breakdown of the spreadsheet and how it needs to be in amazon remember that operation column always needs to be under create in order to create new campaigns all right so the next thing I'm going to show you is some of my favorite tools in launching PPC campaigns that save you a ton of time and don't require you to really have a lot of knowledge of spreadsheets. All right. So this tool is called ad tactics. It is by FBA Excel. If you go to FBA Excel.io or in the description below, you will see a link to FBA Excel. We, we've recommended a ton of clients to them, a ton of people that we've trained use FBA Excel and it is a great tool has so many options and it really makes PPC a lot easier for brands. So in this, there's going to be a settings page and you can actually come through and actually put how you want to name your campaigns. So when you're launching them, it makes it a lot easier. I've done a simple setup here and I'll walk you through that in the campaign creation tool. So let's jump over to that really quickly in the campaign creation tool. I've already decided to come through here. 
choose create type and I said, you know, I did some exact campaigns, some phrase, some broad, and I can simply create those. And then when I update the names after I put my SKU in, so you'll be able to select your SKU from a drop down here. After I do that, I have the match type in here. I'm gonna update those campaign names and it is going to update it with it with today's date. It's gonna number the campaigns for me, make it a lot easier. I copy that down to the ad group level. I can put my ad group default bid. I can put what my keyword bids I want to have and I could put as many keywords as I want in a campaign. Right, if you double click there, you could you know, put them, you could put single keyword campaigns. I recommend to do about one to five keywords per campaign for any keywords that have some search volume to them. Uh, if they have no search volume and you're just launching a bunch of random stuff, it doesn't matter as much. You could put 100 keywords in a campaign for those, right? Or maybe you're launching Spanish keywords, things like that, that don't have search volume. You don't have to stick with that five, 10 keywords per campaign, all right? So once you go through all your exact match, all your broad match, all your phrase match campaigns, like you'll see in here, broad and phrase, all that stuff. Now, all you have to simply do, okay, before I go that, you could also add that placement percentage in here if you want. If you wanna to put top of search, you wanna put a 50%, that is an option to add, or you don't have to add anything. You can just delete that, delete that, and it won't add it. But if you do provide a value in there, it will launch those as well. And if you have certain negative keywords that you wanna launch automatically, you could also add negatives before you launch the campaigns. Very good tool to use. You can see the different campaigns. There's gonna be five broad, five phrase, five, five exact. Now what I could do is I can come in here, create sponsor products, upload file. I already ran that Google script here and it created it for me. It put all my campaign names. It put uh, all my keywords in here. It put my budgets that I put in. If you were to put a portfolio in, it would add your portfolio, which is at that settings menu. So if you scroll down here, right here, you could put the default budget, default bids, default portfolio, default placements all that kind of stuff. You could select your SKU automatically so you don't need to fill in this information every single time, but it will put all that into the spreadsheet if that's what you wanna do. Now, as you're scrolling through, it'll add everything, add your bids, add your placements, whatever you put in here. And when you upload this to Amazon, it is gonna upload with any errors and you're gonna upload it in, in this section here. Just click choose file, upload, and you're gonna see it upload in here with zero errors. All right, so back to the tool here, next step, I just go ahead, export to Google Drive. It'll show up in my Google Drive and I'll be able to download that and then upload it to Amazon. It's simple as that, right? You could update existing campaigns or just continue to create new campaigns. Very good tool you can create in sponsor products, sponsor brand, sponsor, sponsor display. You can create in all the different ad types as well. All right, very, very useful and it saves so much time on launching PPC campaigns. The next tool I do want to get into is Data Dive. We love this tool in my agency. It allows us to do quick keyword research. And I know you've seen me use this example uh, a few times here of a garlic press, stainless steel garlic press. Now, when you're in Data Dive, you get your list of keywords. If you've never used a tool, I have some other videos uh, go through my channel. There's some Data Dive videos you could, I give you a walkthrough on how to use the tool. Now, if you jump over to these PPC keywords, it's going to open up this section. Now in here, it's going to, you're gonna import that master keyword list from the original data dive list. And it's going to give you all those keywords, the search volume. And then if you're connected to your Seller Central account, it's also going to give you your PPC data, your impressions, like if you already ran PPC, it's gonna show you everything in exact match. It's gonna show you the suggested bids, all that stuff. And then what you could do is start to click which ones you want to launch in exact, which ones in phrase, which one in broad. Data Dive is going to give you their recommendations initially, um, but some of the most relevant ones that's very important to your product, you may also want to launch in other ad types and match types. Okay, so this is just going to be for sponsored products here. So you can't do sponsor display. It's going to give you phrase, broad, exact, autos, product targeting that you could launch and you just put which ones you want to launch in different ad types and match types and you could automatically add some negatives in here as well and basically it's going to give you a list of all those that you selected so you know exactly what it's going to do now the next step you're going to go in you're going to go to this ppc campaigns and that's going to open up to here now same thing with ad tactics you could add your SKU. you could decide how you're going to name it and you could change that around however you'd like you could you know, click this button to generate those campaigns. If you don't want to launch a certain campaign type, you could uncheck that. Uh, you know, they have some search volume ratio 
thing in here, which I don't like very much. It doesn't really work that well. Anyways, they used to actually have a search volume threshold, which I liked a lot better. Um, but then you could put that five keywords per campaign if you want to launch them that way. You put the date, you put the budget, you put the bids, you decide between fixed bids, dynamic bids down, or dynamic bids down only, or dynamic bidding up and down. Now, on launch, especially in exact match, fixed bids does help to drive a lot more traffic because Amazon really doesn't know you that well. They're not going to give you the benefit of the doubt. And we have noticed putting fixed bids helps to really generate more impressions, more clicks, maybe not more clicks, but more impressions at the least. Now, dynamic bids down only can usually give you a lesser CPC and where up and down is a lot more aggressive. OK, so test them out, see how they work. Maybe some campaigns you launch and fix, some dynamic bids down only, and see how they perform for you. All right, so you go through each type, walk through, set all these different things. You go through phrase, you go through broad, you go through your autos, and it's going to launch all of those for you, okay? So, and then all you have to simply do is generate this bulk sheet. Now, if I click it, it's going to generate for me. And just like those other couple examples, it's going to upload a spreadsheet that all I have to do is simply file download into excel and then upload that to amazon in your bulk upload right here very simple it does it all for you now the one thing that data dive does that i do not like is they automatically add negative keywords um, which i don't recommend so they add all these negative keywords to your auto your broad your phrase campaigns um, i don't like to add negatives until they've proven to me they don't work because some of those negatives may work better in phrase may work better in broad may work better in my auto and they don't work well in exact match. So I don't like to add negatives before I've given them a chance to prove themselves. So what you could do is just come in here, uh, go to entity, select negative keywords, negative product targets, and just press okay. Simply select that, control shift down. If you're on a PC, delete selected rows, get rid of my filter and all those negatives are now gone. And I'm not gonna preemptively add a bunch of negatives where I don't want to, right? And then you can simply edit your portfolio name in here, edit uh, the bids, you could edit the budgets manually, you don't have to edit them in there. This file is still editable. You could even change your launch date for the campaigns. Uh, go through, you can add the fixed bids, you can switch to the different match types, add types. Um, simple as that, like this is an editable file. Simply file, oh, whoops, simply file, download, and then it is ready to go, upload it to Amazon much faster way to launch it. All right, so that's um, some ways to launch PPC campaigns, the, the slow way, the fast way, depending on how you want to do it. And I do have links in the description for all of these different tools. Let me know if you need any help or if you have any trouble getting these going for you. Happy to help, put a comment below and I'll link up with you and, and help you figure this out. Now, if you're confused at all on which keywords to launch, right, stick with the most relevant ones. If you're selling a stainless steel garlic press, Make sure you're going after the stainless steel keywords. You want to make sure you're getting ad spend on those. Those are going to be the most relevant keywords where you're going to have the best conversion rate in the beginning. Uh, and when you're going with phrase and broad, maybe some of those super broad keywords like garlic press or even the word garlic, I do suggest to launch those, but keep your bids very low, right? Test them slowly because they can tend to spend a lot of money. In the auto campaigns, I usually might not launch right away. It is okay to do it. If you launch it right away, keep the bids low, ramp them up, test it, see how it performs. Now, some people want to wait a couple weeks to launch auto campaigns because they don't always perform best right when you launch them because Amazon just doesn't know your product yet. OK, that's it. Basically, this is how we launch everything. Uh, step by step guide. I hope this covers anything. If you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below. Congratulations on taking the next step in your PPC journey by mastering the art of launching campaigns and selecting the right match types and the right bids. You're well on your way to PPC success. In the next video, we'll dive into understanding your numbers and analyzing your campaign performance. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on our masterclass series. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.